Here's a look at some of our biggest business stories of the week. Canada Post and its largest union of postal workers are in a stalemate. The carrier wants the workers to agree to a binding arbitration. The union is inviting. I suspect they've rejected going to arbitration because they think they'll lose. I mean, if you think you're going to win and get what you want, you're going to go to arbitration, right? So, uh, I mean, that's, that's called self-interest. Without arbitration, it's still up to the two sides to come to an agreement, something they've been trying to do for months. Initially, Canada Post intended to lock out workers Friday if they couldn't come to a contract deal, but it's extended that deadline to Monday. It was a pledge we heard when the Liberals were in campaign mode, but no word on it since. Remember this? Our proposal to extend uh, the capacity to uh, invest, uh, to draw from your RRSPs and uh, responsible amounts to help uh, the cost of, uh, of a new home uh, is something that will help Canadians in concrete ways. It was a promise to widen the RRSP rules to allow more people to use them to buy a home. The federal government hasn't made any moves to change the rules yet. Some experts say it can't risk adding fuel to the fire of already hot housing markets in cities like Vancouver and Toronto. A neuromarketing firm is trying to solve a multi-billion dollar riddle. Why don't we use our smartphones for online shopping? We know that when we go shopping, we make a decision within a fraction of a second. Our brain tells us immediately which product to choose without us really having to think too hard about it. And what's happening is your brain kind of generates a gut feeling response to a brand that you are familiar with, a brand that you, are, that, that you trust perhaps. So that is what we're seeking to measure. True Impact is using high-tech headgear to read brain waves and find out why people are shying away from smartphones and still using computers for online shopping. Less than a third of all online sales come from purchases made on mobile. For all of these stories and more, go to cbc.ca slash business and join our team on Twitter at CBC Business or me at Jacqueline CBC. See you in seven days.